Welcome to today's five-minute Bible study in the book of Leviticus. We are continuing to look at Leviticus chapter 23. Now in chapter 23, we find the instructions for the seven religious festivals that the Israelites observed every year. We've already looked at the first four. Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the Festival of First Fruits, and Pentecost. And today we're looking at the remaining three, which all occur in the fall. Now the fall festivals all occur in the seventh month of the Jewish year. It begins with the Festival of Trumpets on the first day of the month. Reading in verse 23 of chapter 23. And the Lord said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, On the first day of the seventh month, you are to have a day of Sabbath rest, a sacred assembly commemorated with trumpet blast. Do no regular work, but present a food offering to the Lord. So the Festival of Trumpets is the first day of the seventh month. It is so-called trumpets because it begins with a blast of the trumpet, the shofar, to announce a sacred day. A day for sacred assembly and a day of Sabbath rest. It is called Rosh Hashanah. Uh, for later in Jewish history, uh, this day will commemorate the beginning of the civil year. Now, the religious year began with Passover, but the civil year begins with Rosh Hashanah, the festival of trumpets on the first day of the seventh month. Now, nine days later, there is another festival on the tenth day, of the Sabbath month, and that is the festival of the Day of Atonement. Verse 26, the Lord said to Moses, the tenth day of the seventh month is the Day of Atonement. Hold a sacred assembly, deny yourselves, present a food offering to the Lord. Do not do any work on that day, because it is the Day of Atonement, when atonement is made for you before the Lord your God. In many ways, this is the most holy day of the year, for it is the day that atonement is made for the people, the day when the high priest will enter the most holy place with the offering of atonement. And we looked in some detail at the procedure on the day of atonement, which was found in chapter 16. Here, of course, the, the day of atonement is mentioned again in its place in the regular calendar of festivals. So in the seventh month, the first day, Festival of Trumpets, Rosh Hashanah, the beginning of the civil year. The tenth day is the Day of Atonement. And then a few days later, on the fifteenth day, begins the Festival of Tabernacles. Verse 33. And so the Lord said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, On the fifteenth day of the seventh month, the Lord's Festival of Tabernacles begins, and it will last for seven days. The first day is a sacred assembly, do no regular work. For seven days, present food offerings to the Lord. And on the eighth day, hold a sacred assembly, present a food offering to the Lord. It is the closing special assembly. Do no regular work. So the Festival of Tabernacles begins on the 15th day of the seventh month, and it lasts for seven days. Offerings will be made, and the First day and the last day will be a day of sacred assembly and a day when you do not work, a Sabbath, a day of Sabbath rest, as it were. This is the third of the great pilgrim festivals. First pilgrim festival you remember is Passover. The second pilgrim festival is Pentecost. And the third pilgrim festival is Tabernacle. And that meant if it was at all possible, you would go to Jerusalem to celebrate those festivals. Now on Tabernacles, the people would have a special observance. They would, and this is why it was called tabernacles, they would make special tabernacles or shelters, temporary shelters to live in. And it would commemorate the time that they wandered in the wilderness when God was bringing them on their journey to the promised land. So it's sort of like living in tents uh, for seven days. Uh, they would often build these on, on the rooftops of their homes, these temporary shelters in which they would live to, to celebrate the festival of tabernacles. So here in chapter 23, we've seen all seven of the annual festivals that the Israelites were to observe, the calendar of their religious observance. In the spring, it would begin with Passover, and then the Feast of Unleavened Bread, which all kind of flowed together, and in the midst of that would be the Feast of First Fruits. And then in the early summer, the 
festival of Pentecost. And then in the fall, the day of trumpets, the festival of trumpets, the day of atonement, and then it would close with the festival of the tabernacles. And then the chapter ends with verse 44. So Moses announced to the Israelites the appointed festivals of the Lord. So this was the annual cycle of the life of Israel, their religious life. These festivals reminded them of all that God had done for them, how he had redeemed them, and made them his own people. And these observances would keep them focused on who God was, what he had done for them, and how they were to live as the faithful people of God. Hope you would join us tomorrow as we continue our five-minute Bible study in the book of Leviticus.